Everyone's ready. And just like that, this tag team match is underway. Jey Uso is so explosive nice. in the ring, guys. He can hit you with a splash, slap on a devastating submission, or start a super kick party. And while he's dished out a few hangovers with his brother Jey Uso, he's more than capable of throwing a super kick party all by himself. Elbow drop! Right to the heart. Elbow finds its mark. Looks like Jey Uso has broken a sweat. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. The incredible impact! Can he finish the job? Jay about to attempt. He's in control now. Jimmy Uso's looking to end it here. And there's the Yurinagi. Land of him. That has got to be it. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. Broken, keeping the match alive. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the attitude era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever, and what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. Sent out to the middle. Jimmy is still beginning to look a little weak out there. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. But he can still turn the tide here. As the old saying goes, it ain't over. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. That's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. And it's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Of course, you want to keep Jimmy Uso out of the air. You want to turn this match into a fight. The Usos grew up fighting, so Jimmy is more than comfortable throwing hands if that's what's called for. See, Jimmy. Jimmy Uso's just getting overwhelmed. He's got it. Let's see it once more. Yeah, this match is all but over. Fighting from underneath. 
Corey, earlier you talked about how an opponent should approach a matchup with Jimmy Uso. The superstar definitely wants to keep Jimmy grounded, but they also want to keep their distance because Jimmy can brawl with the best of them. For a superstar to have any chance at defeat, that superstar must make sure Jimmy doesn't get airborne. That superstar also has to make sure they don't try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the second-generation superstar. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. He's fighting from underneath. Ain't no stopping him now. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner locked up. Oh, Roman Reigns may have it. Starting to struggle. And that will likely end Jay's night. He isn't showing much life here, guys. Spear! Cut him in half. And that will likely end Jay's night. Really struggling that. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in the top. Spear from the animal. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overcommentary from there for the Irish born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote unquote committee nonsense cost her the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday. Jay should be able to cruise the victory here. But now, can Jay Uso capitalize? He's got to. <laughs> Starting to struggle. Oh, he turns it around. The two out of three falls match saw the Hardy Boys. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. This might be it. Oh, my. And that will likely end Jay's night. second WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. The big dog was on the hunt that night and defeated Triple H to become the WWE Champion in front of more than 100,000 screaming members of the WWE Universe. On that night, Reigns would not be denied. Roman Reigns is absolutely 
absolutely on fire right now. Anytime a WWE Championship changes hands, it's historic. But the conflict between Triple H and Roman Reigns was so intense that the only place their differences could be settled was WrestleMania. The odds were against Roman Reigns in every possible way at the 32nd Showcase of the Immortals. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. He's fighting from underneath. Arm is grapevine. Trying to step through. Uh -oh. Here it comes. Tequila Sunrise. Saxton, you should eat the worm. Now it's time to capitalize. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to worse. Oh, Roman Reigns. Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. Roman Reigns lives by mottos like one versus all, and I can, I did, I will again. Roman's the big... Wow, I thought he was a goner. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Headbutt! Oh, what impact! Ooh. If history has shown us anything when it comes to Roman Reigns, it's that the man is fearless. And when the big dog is on the hunt, opposing superstars better beware. We all know that Roman Reigns is not going to back down from a fight. Reigns will defend the Roman Empire with everything he's got. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. And from underneath. He isn't showing much life here, guys. He's fighting from underneath. He's stalking his opponent from the top. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater... I'm not sure how much he has left. Jimmy Uso is in a real bad spot. He's fighting from underneath. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. There was a lot on the line. Rain sizing up the target. See, Jimmy. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. He's fighting from underneath. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. When Jimmy starts rolling like this, look out below. I don't think this is the ideal time for Jey Uso to be hamming it. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Here's where Jimmy can win this thing. No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? Harsh impact. Dodges a bullet there. There's a one-man gang in there. Big-time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. Here comes the big splash attempt. Jimmy can win this thing. Let's see that again. Definitely worth a second look. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. This 
is exactly what Roman Reigns needed. All the momentum on the side of Reigns. Look out, Roman Reigns is starting to feel it. Damage is taking a toll. The end is near for him. If he sticks this, he is done. Eight. Nine. Things are not looking very good right now. Win like that says a lot about a duo. I'm just glad that thing is over. That match was tough to look at for all the wrong reasons. Here are your winners. And Roman Reigns. That's it for this tag team match. And what a thrilling match it was. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. That match certainly lived up to the expectations of what you would see here at Money in the Bank.